What's going on YouTube? Mark Hanna here with My Computer Career. And today we'll be unboxing the DJI Mavic Mini. And be sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where I can give you some information about how you can win this drone from us on some of our other social media platforms. Now, I've been a fan of DJI for some time. Uh, I've used their gimbals and a couple of their other drones, so I'm really excited to be taking a look at this today. One of the things I particularly love about the Mavic Mini is the fact that you can see right here, it comes in at 249 grams, which is just under the uh, limit for the FAA for uh, registration. So the FAA requires that if you have a drone that weighs over 250 grams, you have to register it with the FAA. And kind of in a thumb their nose at the FAA, DJI released the Mavic Mini, which comes in at an ultralight 249 grams, just under the FAA requirement. Now, the DJI Mavic Mini has a one and two third inch uh, CMOS sensor. Uh, 12 megapixel CMOS sensor. Uh, it'll record 2.7K video to a micro SD card uh, up to 256 gigs. Uh, now, as you can see, this package is not terribly large. There is not a lot going on in here. It's pretty much just the remote and the drone. And this thing is small. Um, I mean, it's small. In the palm of your hand, small. This thing is really tiny. But the build quality doesn't feel like it's suffered for the, for the size. Um, it actually looks very, very reminiscent of the uh, DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, same fold-out wing design of the Pro, uh, similar gimbal cover here. Um, I don't think this one has avoidance detection on the back or the front, but it looks like it might have some uh, landing, if not some avoidance detection on the bottom, but probably not anywhere else from the looks of it. So, so we have the, the drone, and we have the remote control. Um, so this remote control also very reminiscent of the DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, one of the main differences being there's a little less information on the, uh, the screen here. So you are going to want to have your phone um, or tablet plugged in to be working with this because uh, you're not going to get any feedback from the remote itself. Um, and they have their traditional flight sticks that store right into the uh, remote underneath there. So we'll uh, assemble that in just a second. Let's see what else is in the box. Um, so underneath the remote was this little this little box here. I'm guessing this is going to have spare props. Yep. So oh no, this is charging cable looks like USB micro charging cable um, extra flight thumbsticks <clears throat> and then there's the the spare props and it looks like uh, these props so this is a screwdriver and then these are the spare props and I'm guessing unlike some of the other models where the props are just quickly replaceable these props actually have to be um, unscrewed with a screwdriver to be replaced. Um, so there's one little screw holding those props in. Also in the, the box here is the cables to connect your phone to uh, the remote itself, the, the controller itself. So uh, this is probably USB-C, USB micro, and let's see. So you've got a Thunderbolt, micro USB, and USB-C. And so whatever 
Those are your three major carriers right there. Whatever phone or tablet you have, one of those three is going to connect it to uh, the remote there. So they've got you covered on, on all that. Again, uh, this is going to be the USB charging cable. This will probably charge the remote and it may actually also charge the drone. You might be able to leave the battery attached and plug the drone. Yeah, it looks like you can based on right here. This battery port is on the back here, but there's also a micro USB connector right there. So I'm guessing you can leave the battery in the drone itself and just charge the drone directly plugging it into the wall. Uh, also in here we've got your in the box and your safety disclaimer and your quick start guide right there and some disclaimer information. Looks like this is, I don't know what this is. Oh, important safety information and some of the the standard rules of what you can and can't do with the drone. You must not fly over populated areas. You must not fly 30 meters to vehicles or boats. Uh, looks like this one is for, this one's from the Australian government. So this is all your need to know rules for Australia. And this one is for the New Zealand. So um, what you can and can't do. That's interesting. So the drone itself, has, you know, standard prop connectors. Like I said, those are connected via a little uh, Phillips screw connecting the props to the, the drone itself. Um, this one has, interestingly, a battery compartment um, as opposed to some of the other ones where the battery is just accessible from the top and sits exterior. The Mavic Mini here has a actual compartment that the battery slots into right here which I kind of like that and the battery just comes right out okay so there's this battery is also much smaller than some of its predecessors uh, in the DJI Mavic Pro and Mavic Airlines and the battery just slots in and yeah it can be charged and then there's a slot for your micro SD card now this will support a micro SD card up to 256 gigs so you can get a lot of recording time and a lot of uh, pictures off of this because of the uh, small size this has actually got a flight time of a little over 30 minutes uh, it's I guess it's being recorded right at 30 minutes, uh, you know, given wind and things like that. But uh, 30 minute flight time for something this size is actually really surprising. Um, a lot of the even larger drones don't have quite that much flight time. So this is actually, I think the Spark had like 15 minutes and it's similar in size. So, so now I've got all the props free and you can see the props fold forward and then back and out like so and even still with with the uh, props out it's still you can see not not that large it's it's a very small very small piece of kit here now some of the downsides with this particular drone um, is that it's one of the few limitations it has is it's, it's only gonna do uh, JPEG photos it's not going to do uh, raw photos. It's also um, not got OcuSync uh, connectivity between the remote and the drone itself. It's using a straight Wi-Fi system. Uh, it has no obstacle avoidance sensors, so you have to be careful where you fly this because it's not going to try and dodge out of the way of anything. It's just going to fly straight into it. It has no internal storage whatsoever. Um, some of the larger drones, uh, the Mavic Pro, for instance, has a small internal storage. So if you don't put an SD card in there, you're not totally hosed. But uh, this does not. So if there's no micro SD card in here, you don't have anything. Uh, it also has no picture profiles. So 
what it shoots is what you have and there's there's not much you can do with it beyond just take the general pictures but for the size for the weight this thing weighs i know i said 249 grams but to really appreciate that that's you know the size that's that weighs less than my phone i think um this thing is really 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 small let's see I mean, I could stick that in my pocket. So, so we're going to take this outside, get a little footage with it, and uh, see what we think. That's my unboxing of the DJI Mavic Mini. Now we're going to be giving this drone away over on Instagram, so follow the links in the description below. Go over to Instagram, check it out, follow us there. Uh, one lucky winner is going to be getting this drone. So be sure and, and take a look at that. In the meantime, if you like this content, be sure and like and subscribe, ring that bell so we can let you know when we have more stuff up. And I'm Mark Hanna with My Computer Career.